virtual Concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Ricardo behind, they're on old inters. Their tyres are four laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 41.3. Strategy is available on the MFD. Got that confirmed. Stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Pierre is in for his stop. Pierre is in the pits. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. The gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. Their tires are 12 laps old. The time last lap was a 1.31.2. driving. That's the race win. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. And look at this, they're coming out now. Alpha Tori have developed something of a reputation for forging exciting new talent. And we can see that here. Incredible victory.
That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Cohen. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one.